The Samsung Galaxy Note 10 and Galaxy Note 10 Plus are now official, and let's just say the rumors fell really short. A new patent shows how LG is ditching the notch for a centered and very large punch hole, and Apple Watch is still dominating the market and managing to grow quarter over quarter. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, bear in mind to be able to make it to Unpacked and get you a video, we had to pre-record this, so unless Samsung didn't announce anything else that we were briefed on, this is Pocket Now Daily, and I'll cover the rest tomorrow. The official news today begin with deals. If you're in the market for Apple Watch Series 4, which is the one that I recommend currently on Amazon, you can find it for $30 off if you're looking for the 44 millimeter variant, which is actually the one that I have and that I like. Uh, those of you that are looking for the smaller variant, you can get up to $50 off, and obviously it depends on whatever options. You can learn more about everything in the description. And speaking about the Apple Watch, I mean, believe it or not, this continues to be apparently the best-selling smartwatch according to Strategy Analytics. We have the Q2 numbers of smartwatches and Apple Watch is still dominating. Apple shipped 5.7 million units in Q2, rising over 50% from their 3.8 million units in Q2 2018 and has 48% of the market share. Samsung follows with 2 million units and Fitbit with 1.2 million. Obviously there are other options from Wear OS and it's just, it's just so interesting to see how that, I don't know, that company, Google, and their whole endeavor with this is is a little stagnated. And since we're talking about Google, let's uh, move the spotlight over to the Pixel 3 and certain issues that have been discovered on Reddit. It seems that Google forums have been complaining about the new Pixel 3 bug that makes your camera look like it's shaking even if your phone is completely still. There's a video that shows the issues which could be an OIS problem. Deadly Google has been very quiet about the matter and there's really no solution as of right now. Whatever the case may be, obviously we are still waiting for the Pixel 4, but uh, yeah, we'll see what Google responds. I'm using Pixel 3 right now as I'm working for the After the Buzz. It's gonna take a few weeks for that to be done. I'm not having any of those issues, but that's just me. And how about if we talk about Sprint and their 5G plans? Obviously we saw the Galaxy S10 5G launched on Sprint, then we saw the LG V50, but for those of you looking for alternatives, it seems the next one is coming from OnePlus. We have been covering OnePlus uh, pretty much launching a 5G phone in Europe, but uh, then again, we haven't really heard much details over a launch in the United States. The phone is pretty much confirmed to be the OnePlus 7 Pro 5G. Uh, we still don't have a timeline or a launch date, but I think that OnePlus and 5G is the perfect combination to drive the prices down. And how about if we talk about LG and a recent patent that just emerged that's got us skeptical over what their design team is doing. It seems that the company is finally ditching the notch, but for a huge centered punch hole. It includes a camera and two sensors to the sides, which are not disclosed. The rumor mill hints that this might be the LG V60 ThinQ, which could also be the phone teaser that we've been covering since yesterday. Whatever the case may be, I mean, LG, you don't really need to make ugly phones for people to like them or if you made pretty phones, I think is what I should say, they would probably sell better. Uh, we'll keep you posted. And finally, the hottest news today have to do with the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 and Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Yes, we already have our hands-on video with full details on everything you should expect from these two phones. I'm just gonna tell you that uh, I was expecting to see a Galaxy S10 with an S Pen, and visually, that's probably what you're getting. The thing about it is there are some improvements in design and then some other design choices that are weird, like the power button move to the left. But Bixby is pretty much dying. You can actually fully switch it off and your power button is just your power button, so that's great. Yes, no headphone jack. But then once you look at all the software services, it's kind of crazy, not just from a note perspective. Think about all the gaming possibilities where you can actually connect this phone to your computer remotely and play all your PC games remotely. That's crazy, we weren't able to test that, but that's one of the things that I'm really looking forward to trying out. And yes, I finally feel that DeX has been fixed with the fact that you can now use it on your PC or pretty much a Mac, I believe, as well. Let us know in the comments down below, what do you think about the Galaxy Note 10 and Note 10 Plus, and if so, which one would you pick? In my case, I'm going to tell you this much, I love how light the small one feels, but I want the no-holds-bar note, so obviously I'm going to go for the larger one. Leave us a comment down below, we'd love to know what your opinion is. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to both our channels, English and Spanish, for more videos like this one. Also, follow us on social media as our extended coverage happens on Instagram. And yes, please follow my personal handles if you want to see what I do as I test these phones. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.